Hello everybody, welcome back to the mighty Landini. If there's anything this cannot do, I've yet to see it. It's just chugging along with the, uh, what is this, 35, 40 foot header on the back of it. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of yard tidying up this morning. Uh, we've got a lot of jobs to do today. Uh, we've got a, a lot of things just to get going. Uh, we've got some of the, we're going to get some hired workers out there as well. We've got a lovely bit of equipment we're going to have a look at ourselves that we've just bought. And we're going to put that into action on the 4755 today as well. Uh, but we've got a truck coming back with the last of the flour that we need to get unloaded over the road. Uh, we've got a little bit of tidying up. Like I say, we're putting some putting things like the header away and just making sure that it is December now. Oh, easy. Making sure that everything just looks a little bit more respectable around here, which it can always do. Come on, Landine. Yep, you get there. Because, uh, yeah, I just want everything to look a little bit tidier. The animals have all been taken care of. They're looking good for today. A lot of the machines are all tucked away. Oh, easy now. Oh, this is not going to go well. I've cut that a bit tight there, haven't I? Oh, dear. Uh, let's see if we... Uh, this will be coming out to you on Saturday, I think. So I hope at uh, the time of receiving this, everyone is doing fantastically well. Uh, do let me know what you're getting stuck into if you're on Elm Creek, how that's all coming along. Uh, oh, let's just get around that way ever so slightly. Oh, we're on the way, bridge there. We're half on it. Anyway, that might actually do for what I need, because then... First of all, look at this. What a setup that is. We're going to be taking that out in the field in just a few moments there, but look at it. Just incredible. Those rollers don't actually need all the horsepower they're hyped up to need. But what a set of metal that is. Incredible. Anyway, uh, we'll give this a bit of a blast down. Can't have a header away dirty. We're just going to give that a nice clean off there. Uh, and then we're going to park it up. There's a space in the shed. We'll get it parked up into out the way. And uh, yeah, we'll be looking good. That's one job done. What we've also got at the moment is the 8, 9RT. There you go. Nine, the 9RT is in the field. Which we're going to set that one away. It's got a bit of a head start on the roller. We've got a huge stone problem in our new field. We plowed it all over there. That's all looking good. But heavens are the stones out in force. And we need to think about how we're going to resolve that. Oh, there's the truck, I think. Looks like my uh, truck driver has arrived, which is good. So we can make ourselves a little bit more money. Wonderful stuff. Now he's chickened out and coming on into the uh, into the yard there, but that's fine. Listen to the power of this thing. Incredible. Uh, so what we will do is just nip down here with this. And then this is the whole shed has kind of been designed so with almost with header trailers in mind because it's so long and annoying we can just whip this straight on in we're gonna just for the sake of keeping things uniform we'll take it around but yeah we can just do one nice big drive straight in uh don't have to worry about reversing them or anything like that uh and then we're pretty much sorted really just gotta make sure we don't cut any corners too tight but otherwise it's all uh it's all looking good and we go there and then yeah we'll just stick this as nice little header size gap in between our uh, uh freshly washed plow although that's got some more work it needs to do uh we'll have to get that on in a later day i think a lot of fields to get turned over uh on elm creek for us at the moment there but that is fine there you go happy days if you wonder where the combine is it is in this shed over here tucked it out of the way uh, which is good. Uh, I'm just going to stick this in to about here for now. There is the combine with the uh, maze header at the front there. Combine has me washed down. We'll typically do lights off. Typically do that before we actually use that thing next time around. Uh, we're going to come back to this in a moment. So the next job we need to think about though is just making sure we get that truck off the road. We're not actually taking the produce to sell too far away actually, which is handy. Uh, we're just going to... It's just down the, the high street here, really. Uh, so we'll get that sold. It'll probably cause a bit of a traffic jam. There we are. Sorry. I mean, you could have pulled onto the road a little bit more, but... Never mind. I believe... Yeah, we're just going to go up to the bakery up here. Which is a little bit of a pain to reverse into. But, again... Uh, we'll figure it out. If memory serves, it's not the... Excellent stuff. So this is the last of the wheat flour that we stuck on in uh, at one point in time. 
Uh, we had an awful lot of it coming out actually. Oh, we made some bread. Look at that. Wonderful stuff. I've done the exact same thing that I did last time. I should have gone into the other side. We need to come pick up that bread actually. That's for hours to sell. I mean, I'm 99% sure if I reverse out here with my hazard lights on, it's fine. I'm sure of it. We'll be good. And the same thing if we just want to stick our back end into there ever so slightly. So we'll just cut across two lanes. I don't really see what I'm doing here, but... Alright, so the flower has been unloaded. We're going to actually come back and get this, I think. We've got too much else that we need to do, and that's been sitting there for a while anyway, so... We'll be fine. We'll, uh... We'll come and get that when we when we can. Uh, but that'll be a nice little bit of revenue coming through. We'll have to find out where we're going to sell that to as well. But that's good. I'm excited to see a little bit of a return on our hard work there. Uh, okay. Oops. Sorry. There you go. All right. And away we go. So we're just going to swing this on into the yard. Then we're going to go and start to get a bit of heavy cultivation work going. Uh, we need to get a little bit of ground prepared on the other side as well. We're not going to plow everything in this year. Uh, I want to rotate that around a little bit, just that where, where we can to save a little bit of uh, time, really. In uh, We've got a few months to get ahead of the game. It's December now, so we're going to get started on the major field that we made. Which is looking incredible, by the way. Absolutely behemoth of a field there, which is looking fantastic. So, uh, that is going to be good to see how that continues to improve. Uh, but yeah, we'll just swing this on into here. We'll get this all parked up. Then we'll go and take out the 4755 and show you the big field and get that John Deere put to work. By the way, how clean that the mold boards are on the front there now. The skimmers need to lose a little bit of paint still, but the rest of the plow, it's only done one field there. You'd think it's done about five seasons with this. It's incredible. But anyway, a uh, little bit of work to tidy up some of the other equipment in here. We'll get to that in due course. Of, um, no problem with that. Uh, just a bit of a summary on what else we've got to do. We've got these two fields here are ready to be uh, to be cultivated over, really. Uh, we probably will get the mulches set on both of those today, actually. And to see see how we can go. They've both only been harvested. So, yeah, the mulch will get onto those at some point. We've got a load of sugar beet to sell from field 50 as well. Uh, and then we need to get rid of that. Uh, and then we've got these. Uh, I'm thinking of putting 48 and 49 into one field at some point. And then maybe as well 55 and 54 and potentially 53 at the same time. So lots that we can think of doing there. You'll see that this field uh, is really looking quite impressive now. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. You can see where all the other fields were. We plowed it all into one. There was a little bit of an opportunity up here to keep going. But to be honest with you, that's quite a steep bank up that side now. So we've left it as it is and that should be sufficient. Uh, we do have quite an alarming storm problem though. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and get rid of a lot of the smaller ones with this beastly setup. Uh, and then we'll look at tackling the rest of them uh, as and when we can there with a stone picker of some description. I almost need to get an army of stone pickers just hitting that field and going after it. But that's something that I haven't really got the uh, the time for right now. So we'll, we'll see. But this thing... I mean, the 4755 in duels alone is a sight to see. Uh, it just looks epic. But yeah, it's carrying this hunk of metal behind there is quite something. So we've got to get everything planted in March. We'll also be putting our orchards in in March. So we've got a few months to get ready for that. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of just a lot of work I just want to get ticked off the list before we get to that stage, really. Uh, and then we'll be good. Oh, listen to her. God, beacons on again. I mean, incredibly, it almost feels like the tractor knows that's pulling this more now than it does in the field from the brief test that I've had. Uh, I'm sure we'll see if that's any different. Over there, you can just see working away. We have the 9RT. That is cracking along as we speak here with a uh, beautiful uh, the set of Valdestad discs on the back. In fact, let's just go and say hello. Cut through the fire engine here, they won't mind. So what I'm planning to do is we'll get this worked over. We're gonna, we're gonna start with the rollers over on the far side there, see how that goes. Uh, that is making some grand progress, but you can see already, look at the issue with the, the smaller stones as well, uh, but there's just a lot of them, so. Uh, we'll have to see how that gets on. Let's just uh, pull forward a bit so we're not in its way. 
there's also some quite large stones here as well so to see what we're dealing with from a large stone perspective i just want to get these all tackled but yeah look at that thing go what an absolute gem really an impressive bit of kit there so we'll just let those let that guy fire along there he's uh he's enjoying life and why wouldn't you be driving that really that's an absolute beast absolute beast and then yeah after that this will we'll get this rolled over there hopefully get most of the stones picked up and then we're going to be drilling this now i think i'm going to go into maze i think that's the plan to do one big maze field i could i don't know we'll see uh, we'll have to just see but yeah let's unroll this we can probably start about here actually we'll split this field uh roughly in half for now just so we don't get in the way of the uh, other worker there with his cultivator but look at this thing as it unfolds this is incredible actually let's just set this away look at the size of these rollers 24 meters in working width absolutely huge quite the, the chassis of the thing is incredible let alone anything else but yeah they'll come down and our two wings are going to fold out there now sensational absolutely sensational and you can see it's already working but what we need to do is well get off the side there obviously uh let's pull this down a bit currently in ninth let's see how we get on with that shall we uh, it does stay that it needs about trying to get away here i'm gonna hit that tree we need to pull ourselves over a little bit more it does stay that it wants to have approximately um i think it was in the region of uh 250 or 300 horsepower to pull this thing i think that's a little far-fetched this john deere pulls them uh it's even want to go up a gear so we will let it so it is getting rid of quite a lot of the small ones but it is still showing the major problem that we have uh to challenge and so we're gonna ro go around run headland here and then we'll see just the extent of what that looks like uh and see what we can get uh resolved from there but yeah it is yeah quite a lot of uh oh there you go quite a lot of large stones in there still to pick up there but the main thing is just look at the tractor in this setup here it's oh, it's beautiful okay so as you can see as we take our pass around this field it is quite large like i say i think we'll put into a maize harvest there it might be maize or wheat first time around but i'm quite decided let me know what you think we should do uh, i'm open to either uh i really want to just get some a big prairie style field going and i think this has achieved it really uh and this should be a good way for us to go uh obviously because we plowed it over that does bring up a lot more of the uh, the larger or all of the stones effectively um but yeah well i don't know if we're going to send a team of rock pickers in or what that'll look like um but it's gonna if we do that it will be expensive so we have to uh, factor that into our decisions as well uh even if we do half a field each year i don't know because like patches like this nearly all of these are too large to be picked up by uh our mighty uh roller here this roller by the way 140 grand in the store you can see my costs have gone down dramatically so we do need to get that bread sold sooner rather than later uh, and we've got we're waiting until january to sell off all of our remaining uh, crops that we have in silo and then we've started to get our livestock going as well so we should see a nice uh, stretch of income there let's see if we can get another gear going on this Ooh, i'd like to just <laughs> listen to it incredible inexplicably somehow the plows completely missed a bit there bad plowmanship And there you have it really that's all the progress we have on the farm for today uh lots of small little jobs as i said there we got all the hay cleared up as well actually from down on our large field in the south I actually put a little shed up down there as well so we could store it all out of the way i don't really have anywhere in the main yard to stick it right now oh we nearly bogged down 
Uh, there you go. But yeah, that's pretty much how we're looking. Uh, we're going to continue. We'll get most of this field done where possible and see how we're getting on from there. If you have enjoyed this though and you've yet to do so, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation if you haven't. And uh, we shall see you all in the next one. Uh, next live streams won't be for a little while. Uh, oh, come on, Betsy. Get up the hill. And we'll see you in the next live stream, which I think will be about a week's time. Until then, though, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.